Okay, lining up for my first load of water. I got this tank the other day. But I got to put a valve in the bottom there. And that's as far down inside I can reach. So I don't know how they get it right near the bottom. Must have long freaking arms. But anyway, this will go in. Then the nut. And then over yonder, we got the six inch nipple. We got a ball valve. We got a mail fitting to a can lock, two inch. So I'm gonna have to get some hose to put on here. The idea is I'll load her in the truck here, the water tank. Have at least like a four or five foot hose out for now. And uh, into a bucket, into the storage tank in the cabin. You know, sometimes simple is the best way to go. For now, do the pumps and all that stuff eventually. And I got this trailer, but the water tank will fit in there quite nice. So I don't have to take up all the room in my truck. Except these wheels have to go. I have to upgrade those wheels and put a wiring kit on for lights. And we're good to go there. But let's carry on with the water, with the first load of water. Haha, <laughs> I tipped over the tank to shake out some of the cuttings. The rest will come out with the water. This is not really for drinking now anyway. It's going to be mainly just for everything else. But anyway, now I look down inside here. What do we see? A box. What the hell is that, you figure? I bet you it's another uh, fitting. Oh, well, two's better than none. Let's see if I can get that out of there. Rubber on. Have to tighten her when I get water in. We'll see how, how it goes. We've got the ball valve. And uh, 
steel cam lock, two inch. And for now, let's put the cap on. Well, the first attempt didn't uh, go too well. I didn't have the nozzle quite lined up. So I got things a little wet. Now I got it right in the top. Let's see if that's gonna work. First time here. So, uh, yeah, interesting. Let's try this again. Okay, one for truck fill. Enter. Put in the money. And start. That's better. <laughs> now I can only put it enough. What the hell kind of fucking thing is this? Seems to adjust itself. That couldn't have been 160 liters already. Well, let's go another one. Okay, I had more success with the barrel load. Just connect on there with the two inch runner up into the tank. That way the tank is all the way in the truck, you see. Good, it'll be a little bit in the hose when I disconnect, but that's all right. That's what the strain is for. Okay, back to the homestead.